Model Medullary Arc Medullary Anatomical Landmarks عندنا كبداية هذه هي اللي Labial Frenum This is the Labial Frenum And this is the Buccal Frenum On both sides Bilateral This is the labial vestibule, which is bilateral on both sides. You can see it. And from the posterior to the buccal frenum, this is the buccal vestibule on both sides. end of the denture on both sides this is the hamular notch in this area this one and this is the other one this is the hamular notch and when I connected the two hamular notch by this line this is the posterior palatal keel area this is the end of my denture. In this point, the denture will be end. And in this area, this is the maxillary tuberosity, which is bone, bony anatomical landmark on both sides. This is the fovea palatina, this one and the other one. In the posterior part, it is uh, opening of salivary gland. This one, the mid-palatine raphi, and beneath it, it's the mid-palatine suture. This is a regularity. This is the rugi area. This one, the rugi area, and in this area, it is the incisive papilla. You can see it. Posterior to the uh, posterior palatal seal area, this line, it is the vibrating line. This is the vibrating line. Posterior to the Posterior palatal seal area, this is the vibrating line. <coughs> and all this, it is the residual alveolar ridge. And in this area, the canine eminence located in the corner of the mouth. is bone, bony anatomical landmark. And this is the hard pellet, which is bone. And in this area, exactly located the surus palatinus, in this area. As we say, it is an abnormal elevation of bone. It is um, shallow or medium or large. It is also bony, anatomical landmark. Any question?